channel if you're new please hit subscribe and if you're not thank you for watching again um today's video is going to be a postpartum video about how basically how i'm doing postpartum wise um i am officially six months and two weeks postpartum so my body is still you know in the process of getting back to how it was but um you know i'm getting there uh throughout this video i'm just going to be telling you from day one how it's been since i gave birth all the way up to now um ariel is sleeping so that's why i'm talking really really quiet but yeah so let's just get into the video okay so i'm just gonna be doing a sit down talk to you guys type of video just because i haven't done one of these in a long time either i'm always getting ready or i'm just doing something so i'm gonna just do a sit down video with you guys just because you know we haven't talked in a while um so starting from the day i had her um honestly i ripped about they told me i ripped in three different places so i had three different tears but in places that I that you don't usually rip, I only rip because of the way I was pushing. Um, if you watched my labor and delivery story time or my labor de delivery video, um, you would know that I ripped in three different places and that I was pushing really wrong. Um, it was just the fact that I didn't know how to push. You know, obviously I'm a first time mom. I'm a first. That's my first time giving birth. I don't know how to push, even though our bodies are made to do that. I just didn't know how to push so um yeah when i was pushing i know i saw a question saying like how was i pushing wrong um i was pushing wrong by not pushing all the way you know i would push and then breathe and then push and then breathe and push and breathe but you were supposed to hold your breath and push but i did not do that i had to breathe i was getting really annoyed with the nurse as well just because she kept telling me that i'm just like okay i know that but like you come in my position and do it yourself because i can't do it um but yeah since then when i just pushed really 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 i just pushed wrong and i made me tear in the place that you're not really supposed to tear um i know that piece of skin connecting from your your butt to your vagina that part i did not rip that part i don't know how i didn't rip that part but i didn't rip that part i ripped more of the inside and they were i think second degree tears so they were they were bad tears um my baby was a big baby she was eight pounds nine ounces so you know that was right there you already knew like i was about to tear because she was so big um but yeah she was she was really chunky baby when she came out um anywho yeah so i just pushed really wrong so i had about three tears and the healing process from that literally took me six weeks i did not think it was going to take me six weeks to heal from that but it took me six weeks um you know you're not really supposed to be like up and moving and doing all that extra stuff because uh, my 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 boyfriend's mom had told me i shouldn't be doing that i shouldn't be moving there's i don't know what it's called in spanish but it's something it's something and basically what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to take care of your body if you have your baby daddy your your baby's father there with you let them do all the work um like carrying the baby in and out you know all that just doing all that in general um you know they just let them do all that because you're not supposed to be picking picking up heavy things you're not supposed to be drinking soda you're not supposed to be eating fast food you're supposed to let your body heal you're supposed to let your body get back to normal for doing all that which is why you wait six weeks that's why you're supposed to wait six weeks so your body could do all that but me uh personally i always carry the baby at her car seat um i remember i was about two weeks postpartum and that's when his mom had really told me you know i'm not supposed to be doing that just because if i do that my stomach won't go away and um if we're being honest my i'll show you guys at the end what my stomach looks like but um my stomach is pretty pretty it, it went down obviously it went down since i gave birth but you know i'm kind of like i'm kind of like my stomach is kind of chunky like i'm i have a lot of like but loose skin just because of how big i was like if you guys knew how big i was i was super big i'll put a video right now but um yeah so it was just <laughs> yeah that's just what she had told me and i was like okay there that so chris ended up carrying her until i was about six weeks and i was already healed but yeah so um moving fast forward onto the healing process i healed pretty fast um and when i got back from the hospital which is like when i was like three days postpartum when the baby was like three days old i actually couldn't sit down for nothing like i just couldn't sit down i couldn't get up um it just hurt it was really sore down there and i was super swollen like i didn't know i can get that swollen but i was super swollen like guys i was so swollen and it just looked so like i was just super swollen 
and I didn't expect to get that smooth. I didn't even expect to look like that down there until I seen and I was just, you know, like, I wasn't really depressed over it, but, you know, I was just like, wow, like, why, like, why is this so swollen? And, yeah, um, okay, now let's talk about postpartum depression. If we're being honest, I was one of the lucky ones, and I didn't get postpartum depression. I had a really, really, really good, like, I had a really bad feeling I was going to get that just because of how I am. Um, when I was on birth control, I was depressed. When I was pregnant um, during the beginning, which you guys probably didn't know about because I didn't start YouTube till I was about six months pregnant, six, five, six months pregnant. Um, the beginning of my pregnancy to like about three months, I was like super depressed. I was super, super, super depressed. I just, I just, I wasn't myself. Um, and when you couldn't like, if you knew me, you probably didn't tell, but it's just like, you know, like I was super sad inside. Like I was just, you know, like there was a lot of stuff going on that I just don't want to talk about right now. And you know, when I feel comfortable talking about it, that's when I'll talk about it. But just right now, I just don't feel comfortable talking about half of the stuff that I went through throughout my pregnancy. Just because it's, like, super, like, it's super, it's, it's, you know, just something you don't want to talk about. But, yeah, so, um, I'm trying to keep looking over here. I just don't know how to talk to the camera and, like, look at the camera. I just feel, like, weird talking to myself. But, yeah, um, I didn't get postpartum depression. Thank God I didn't get that because I just really thought I was going to get it. Um... A lot of people have asked like if my relationship has changed after i had the baby if we are being honest i'm not gonna lie to you guys in the beginning it did it was kind of bad like you know it wasn't like super bad but it was just like we were both tired and we were both irritated and like dealing with a newborn baby like oh my gosh like if you guys are new moms and you guys know that feeling just dealing with a newborn baby is just so hard like you don't know why they're crying or why they want this or if they're hungry or if they need to be changed. You just don't ever know with the normal baby. You just don't know. And that's okay. It's okay not to know because you know you're your first time mom. You don't know. That's that's totally fine. Everyone goes through it and everyone gets through it. But um I remember when I was in the hospital I was just super irritated with Christian and just didn't want him like with me. I just I was just super irritated. And um, it wasn't because of Ariella, it was just because I was so tired and I was so sore and I couldn't stand up and I needed his help every time I had to get up. And like, I just had one of those postpartum recoveries that was probably the worst to me. Like, I just didn't think I would go through all that. Um, shout out to the mamas who do do it by themselves and got up by themselves and did everything by themselves. I really give you guys props because I don't know what I would have done without Christian if he wasn't there because my mom didn't stay in the hospital with me just because, you know, only one person could stay the night so christian was there throughout the night and you know yeah so like i was saying like we did have a little ups and downs when she was about one a uh, one month old one month two months old this lasted like for two months it only lasted for two months it wasn't bad to where like we broke up and all that but it was just like we were super super like tired and you know he had to go to school and i had to take care of the baby and i just felt like that was super unfair but you know i wasn't the one who um i'm the one who has to take care of the baby the dads you don't usually just keep the baby while the mom goes to school and plus i couldn't go back to school because i was um still in what is it called postpartum something leave postpartum leave something like that uh maternity leave yeah i was in maternity leave still i wasn't going back to which is funny i wasn't going back to the 20th which was so if you guys know, like in California, that's everyone stopped going to school around the 13th. That's because when the virus got really, really, really bad, that's when everybody stopped going to school, um, 13th. And um, I was supposed to go back the week after because that was a break. It was like a spring break. Okay, but like I was saying, um, I was doing maternity leave. So when everybody, I was just kind of mad that I couldn't go back to school. Not because I wanted to get away from Ariella, but I just wanted to live my life as well. Like, I wanted to finish school because where I was at at the moment, like, it was bad. Like, I had bad grades and, like, not because I didn't do the schoolwork, but it's just because I was, you know, dealing with my pregnancy. And then on top of that, they thought I was diabetic. And on top of that, they thought, like, so much stuff. Like, I had so much going on when I was pregnant. And that's kind of why um, I stopped, I started slacking on my schoolwork, even though, like, you know, I had no excuse not to. Uh, but I still did. And I was just kind of like, you know, and, you know, he got to go out with his friends. And it's just like, okay, but you have a baby. Like, why do I have to, like, stay in the house and um, watch our daughter 
and you could go out like that doesn't that's not fair like why don't you come like on the weekend because throughout the week he had school like why not on the weekends you come see your daughter instead of going out with your friends and like i understand like he has a life too but it's like it just it wasn't fair to me so that's what made me super like sad and like all that but you know he was always there now he's always there like literally like he's attached to me like that's how it is with him um now that she's older now that she's more easier to take care of obviously he's there because when she was a baby he like was so scared to hold her because she was just so tiny and you know but yeah um moving on to that um now what i eat in a day if we're being honest i don't eat healthy no more i used to try to eat healthy like i used to try to attempt to eat healthy but i just can't no more like i don't can't do it nope can't do it gonna be me i know some people are like bro you don't eat healthy you're over here but it's like bro like i can't eat healthy i don't know what's wrong with me but i just can't eat healthy like i try but i can't hi mommy <laughs> hi mommy she just woke up <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys oh, she took the blanket off <gasps> hi it's a mommy <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just try to I'm ready to finish this video because I know she's not about to let me finish it. She literally went to like a 10 minute nap. Like, I'm telling you, she takes 10 minute naps. Um, but like I was saying, like moving on to that, I don't eat healthy at all. So, like, you know, I used to try to eat healthy, but I can't no more. So, moving on to the part you guys all been waiting for is to do a stomach reveal, a body reveal. Um, I'm gonna try to put on shorts so you guys can see my full body and how I fully look now. I know in some videos you guys can see, some videos you guys can't, but you know, I'm just gonna show you from here to the toes. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay, so I put on these um, shorts that don't even fit me right now, but I put on these shorts and I'm just gonna back up so you guys can see. Hold on. So, I'm gonna give a shout out. This is just how my stomach looks from the side. Maybe this other side, like that. And then the stomach portion, this is just how my stomach looks. Six months postpartum. Um, from the back, you can obviously tell I'm not that fat from the back, but from right here, you could tell right there. I have like back rolls. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I have like back rolls right there. I have shorts on, that's already on there. But I have skin tight stretch marks on my thighs. Right here as well, I just have a bunch of stretch okay, marks. so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this is a really touchy subject just because I'm super insecure about my body and how it looks now. You know, so if you have anything negative to say, just don't even say it because it's not worth it. Just, you know, like body shaming in 2020 just ain't worth it no more. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to insert this clip for you guys that I put this up right here. Um, the butterflies were bought separately, but the vinyl thing was sent to me by a company um you could purchase this on off amazon um if we're being honest it was a 10 out of 10 putting it up i'll insert the clip of me putting it up and you know letting you guys know how it went so yeah let's just jump into that clip real quick and i'll do so that I'm sorry my bed is looking a little bit crusty that's my bear right there um our yellow's right there but these are what the leaves look like i'm honestly not sure how i'm about to do it but i'm about to just you know do it and then the lights are right here I'm going to turn these lights on for you guys to see. Um, I, I haven't even seen the lights yet. So, yeah, I'm about to put these on. This is just what the lights look like. And this is what the um, vine look like. So the batteries I'm going to use. I'm sorry they're, like, hella everywhere. Not everywhere, but, you know, like, they're just mix match. But, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the batteries inside the little thing. Like, outside of the package. But these are the different types of settings they have. And there is combination in wave se sequential, slow glow, tracing flash, slow fade, twinkle flash, steady on and off. Um, so you press it like one, it goes to that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, which is off. And I'm just gonna be putting it along this wall because this wall is so plain. And along with the butterflies, I had in my bear. I got that from Christian when, uh, like, it was 2017, February. I mean, they, uh, Valentine's Day in uh, 2017. But, yeah, and then um, I'm going to just put it right here along this wall. As you can see, I had LED lights, but they're now over there. But I had LED lights, so, yeah, I'm going to just take those things off, if you can see. And I'll just be hanging them down right there. Hopefully, Ariella doesn't grab them. She's now on the floor. But, yeah. I'm about to just start cutting um, these, and then I'm going to start putting those up. 
like I said, along this wall. And then I'm gonna put these, um, I'm gonna start cutting these to make, you know, like make that effect, you know, the vinyl effect. And Aria was now in her playpen because she was crying. I usually put her on the ground because she likes to crawl now, but um, yeah. Sorry, Yana, she's saying, she's not saying hi. I thought she was saying hi, but she's not. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna go along this wall. I'm gonna cut these and then also put those up. So I tried to put flash on, I don't know why it's not focusing. Can I make it focus? Okay. So I put it, I don't know, I don't know. I just don't like that part. I'm just probably gonna put the uh, leaves to cover that. But um, that's how small it looks. I could have put it on that side if we're being honest. I kind of put it right there. But I already put it right here, so that's what it looks like. That's what the lights look like. Um, I tied the little battery thing right there, just so you know, like, if I want the lights off, I can turn them off. But yeah, like, I didn't want them really, really, really long, just because our yellow will pull on them. I already know how she is. So yeah, now I'm about to start cutting the leaves to make it uh, match. Okay, so, so far, this is just what it looks like. Um, I actually have this part just fall right now, like, it, it literally just fell right now. I don't know how I'm gonna get that part up, but... I'm gonna have to try, um, but this is just what it looks like. I turned on the lights just to see how it would look, and it's honestly looking pretty nice so far. For me, like, I honestly wouldn't have this in my room, but, um, like, I wouldn't order it. That's what I'm gonna say. Like, I just wouldn't order it. Like, this is just something, like, I wouldn't get. It's not my style, not my type. I like my room to be as plain as possible. But, um, so far, I'm actually liking it. Like, if, honestly, if I didn't get this, I probably would be kind of sad, because it does look pretty nice in my room. But let me just finish this off camera and I'll show you guys the results. Okay, so that is just what it looks like. I know it looks kind of uneven. On the, actually, it does look uneven on the bottom. But um, I try to match it with the lights. Like you could tell like the lights are shorter on this side just because I ran out when I got to right here. I kind of ran out. But on top, you can see like there's a lot. It's because I was trying to cover the tape, but you can still kind of see the tape. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me just add my butterflies back onto there and I'll show you guys the results. Okay, so this is just what it looks like afterwards. I'm pretty sure it looks kind of nice. I don't know, to be honest. I, you know, like I said, it's not really my type, but now that I did it and it's in my room, it looks pretty nice. Like, it's just the fact that it's only on one spot of the wall. And I just have a feeling Ariella is just gonna grab on it and then like, I'm just gonna end up taking it home. But like I said, this is just what it looks like. Okay, so like I told you guys, I do have a code for this whole set right here. I know I just showed some parts of me putting the lights up, not really putting the leaves up. But like I said, what I use, let me show you guys what I use. All you really need is some um, two-sided tape. I don't know why this one is so thick. I was trying to look for the thinner kind, but I didn't even realize I grabbed a thicker kind. And just need some scissors so you could cut your, you know, your leaves. It just looks kind of funny just because it's not really that even, but you know. Yeah, that's just what it looks like once again. Um, I do have a code. I'll leave my code in the description or on the screen to get this for you guys. Um, it's off Amazon. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what company sent it to me, but it's off Amazon. Okay, so that's just how I put it up. You know, go purchase it off, go purchase it off Amazon. Um, I'll leave the description in the link below. A company did send this to me, so I do have a personalized discount code. So you guys could get money off your purchase. Um, I'll obviously give this a 10 out of 10 just because it was super easy putting it up and I do I did purchase these um, little butterflies separately off Shein for two dollars you know they're literally so inexpensive but like I said this thing was sent to me and it comes with the lights as you saw me putting them up but anywho I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe comment let me know what you guys want to see next and thank you for watching